Hello class, um, this is Professor Carey. I actually um, thought about doing a weekly recap of our classes um, to kind of just give a little bit of um, context to the work that we're doing and hopefully this will help in um, you engaging in the next week or the upcoming week. So this um, first week we introduced ourselves, I got to know a little bit about you and um, developed um, some opportunities for you to learn a little bit about me and the work that I do as well. So again, we went over the syllabus to talk about, um, you know, the expectations. We looked at the Carap Funk documentary and that was kind of setting the tone to really think about different ways of moving, different types of moving and why people move the way that they do, what it tells us about culture. We read the Sklar article about the five um, premises for, you know, culturally responsive dance. We looked at the Murray article talking about what is dance. And then we had the in-class writing assignment about, you know, what does dance mean to you? Then we looked at the Ananya Chatterjee video um, and you had an in-class writing assignment based on one of the three excerpts so really thinking about you know how are we writing about dance the language that we're using so this is preparing and setting the tone for what's about to come in the next few weeks so this upcoming week we're going to be focusing on um, lava notation and the different themes that we're supposed to be looking at space shape etc when we think about um, movement and dance so um, this next week we're going to be looking at several movement um, several dance videos and really applying the lava on movement um, analysis to the the dances that we're going to be viewing so really getting into the practice of writing about dance and critiquing dance from a very informed lens so we want to remove all the all of the biases and this week we're going to be looking at um, not necessarily you know western or european movement but we're going to be looking at dances from all over the globe and really thinking about how we're going to write about them from a non-bias perspective so again this is week one wrap up and preparing for week two all right can't wait to see you. Have a great day.